welcome back to Kona. So, we're here at Rosemary's Lodge, I think. So, let's have a little looky over here. Okay, we need a key. Okay, that set looks a lot more like garden shed. Ooh, nice view. Very nice view. Very white, but aside from that, We've got logs. So there's got to be a key. Well, we've got a bin. Which has bunkers in. Anything around the other side? Good or bad. Okay, well, this is a first. We've actually encountered someone who's still with us. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange retourne disparu ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> Si tu veux du linge chaud, parce que t'es habillé comme un gars de la ville, je dirais pas non à une bonne bouteille de caribou. Puis tu pigeras ce que tu voudras parmi mes guenilles. <rire> Trade caribou for co. Ok. So you're a trader. Tells... Le livre, là, c'est le Wendigo. Ouais. Le Wendigo, un guerrier qui devient un loup pour se venger de sa grosse peine. Et... Wendigo. Ah, I have some idea what we're dealing with then. There was a time when hate waged war. Our hunters could decimate the great wolves who had taken our children. Our warriors could snap the necks of the cowards oh, who oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, the cowards who reached for our supplies the deafening sound of rock and bone breaking was seen enough to satisfy uh, saltate the hay and the rivers of blood would express our remorse and apologies Thus the balance maintained. Then came the whites. The legend of the Windigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of a great cold and great aspirations when the ships came and spewed men and fire cannons, plagues and the hands. Uh, spineless, broke, fever, and the dead were piling up on ancestral lands. Too many bodies covered in moss, too much blood spilt in on our stone. Our bone-breaking hate did not suffer longer. One day, a young warrior who had lost everything, nieces, brothers, parents, and hope, uh, fell to his knees in the middle of a small clearing covered in uh, blood of his fiancée killed after having crossed paths with some whites passing by he had seen everything and called out to the great spirit 
called out to him with the words that that came so naturally to him, words that would only create a great river of blood and guts and a terrifying roar of screams he called out to him for a force that had no one be uh, had before. He became a Wendigo. The whites had decimated the whites were decimated under the icy claws of the Wendigo, the great tide of blood even pushing a few ships back out to sea, but Wendigo was not done with vengeance for as long as the heart of one fiancé murders still beat in the Cree territory, he would prevail. The elders say that it was a force of the ancestors returned to nature that turned the young warrior. In his clearing, where many ancestors have been buried in the past, the clearing now covered in the blood spilled unjustly in the time where too many bodies were being buried. Unjustly, in a time too many bodies were being buried, only the ancestors heard the cries of the young warrior. Only in a remarkable time like this could Wendigo have been born. His vengeance sated. The warrior became Wendigo, went to rest forever. His frozen heart melted and disappeared, much like the real snow came come to spring the storm that had been had befallen the Cree lands faded as well there was much celebration balance had been restored but the whites came back too but hatred is never satisfied by the rock and bone turned to dust they arrived by the hundreds, armed with guns and torches, burnt down every village, vaped every woman, smashed the head of every newborn, tortured every man that fell to their grips. Good news, last page. Never before had unbalanced been so deep for the Cree people and ever since. It has been told that one should be so satisfied with the rivers of blood brought by hatred, despite the wrongfulness done to them, because remarkable hate comes at far too steep a price. The Wendigo was never invoked again, but in the hearts of the Cree people remained a fear that one day the young warrior would once again call out with remarkable hate. Because they know through the wisdom brought by this legend that the Wendigo would prevail. But that this victory would come at a great cost. The whites would come back, the whites would rule, none would be spared. Okay. Well, I don't want to get shot at, so. Mon beau bonnet du beau temps. Puis ma ceinture, où ce que je glissais mon flasque. Le monde tournait plus con quand on s'habillait tout de même. Ok, bye crazy guy. Right, so if that's... That's the case. Balloon. Yeah, we're doing well. I think we've already done the balloon house. Okay. Let's turn. Okay, so we head down there. There, Carl had fed his mind, but had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what the stake is all about. 
Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's going to go right then round left. Wow, I really can't drive. Oh, is that it? Uh, yep, that is. And we've got another one of these. So, the natives possibly think that it's a Wendigo. Which, if you believe it, is like a mythical creature that can feast on other people. Um, it's kind of possibly looked like a cannibal in that kind of way. I think the most that I. Ooh. House of the Patriot. And I think in here. That truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old beater back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. Yeah, more of these things. Okay, can we go in? We the can. place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Right, I think what we're going to need to do um, It's tools, isn't it? So, discard Discard Yeah, I think that's all I need to drop to be able to pick up a bit of wood Um, just got to find a bit of wood. Got a building over there to check out as well. Um, that's beer. Which put me over the weight limits. I'm going to have a look at you in a second. I want to get this place warmed up first. you. Dull. Uh, let's pick up my tools. What am I meant to do with a magnet on a string? Really? The rag reeked of fermented vomit. Carl wondered how one could bear to live in such gross and horrid conditions. Okay, we've got notes on the wall. Drawers are overrated. Prepare caribou. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. And I have a feeling we gotta use it to do this. Okay, at least we know where we can... where... Gun rack. Gun rack. But there's no guns. Nothing up here. Radio again. wash dishes when clean ones are within reach. Ok. 
Okay. Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, people were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against a faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Quebec liberation will happen by force, or not at all. We will prevail. Oh, I thought I was going to have... Oh, that's just something there. Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Okay, so what are you? At Agent Bluin. Seems like that pig had a name after all. So, Jean Bluin? Okay, we now have a guy's wallet. Uh, let's have a look at Carl you. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. White whiskey, too much, isn't wasn't a valid quantifier for that. Sherry wine added for mellowness. Spices to taste, just a tiny. This isn't a stew. So white risky sherry wine. That it. So you should. White whiskey. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice the big flagpole that I just walked past. If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. How many of these things are there? Okay, so that's that. We've taken a picture of that. Um, what are you? Outhouse? Some cigarettes. Can't take the axe. Boink. Some matches. So I have enough room to carry a bottle of beer. Okay. So what the... Oh, it's a shooting range. That's what it is. With a homemade shooting range such as this, it wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. With a homemade shooting range such as no, this, it wasn't one. hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. Okay, so... Barrels over there. So I wonder how we get the distillery working. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all-surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Okay, so we've got to keep an eye out for some 
varying things to be able to make a drink with. But whilst we're here, it's been a while since we followed one of these. There we go. Up, up. give indication crossed here oh dear loading screen may have gone a little bit too far can we see any other no we can't as we start doing the loading screen again. Okay. Where are we on the map? The ice cave. How are we doing on that? Okay. Tell you what we're doing. Rest a second so I can run for a bit. Getting in the car. And we back it up. Oh, the other way. Yep. So we park it up here. Then I just need to get a bearing. How about that way? About that way, okay. Loading. Loading, 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 all the time. Because I find it interesting that there's something called Ice Cave and it's on the map. Filters changing. Then again, it is kind of getting darker. Okay, lots of caution signs. The cold seemed to be more brutal here than anywhere else. It seeped into bones and into every breath to get to the heart until it stopped. Carl needed to be dressed in warm clothes to survive. Ooh, you can die. Okay, so I need the jacket before going in there. Um, 357, that looks about right. Okay, so we can die. Confirmed. So that caves the thing we need to aim for. But to get that, we need to get the coat, which means we need to make some caribou. 
Ah, here we are. We're back here. That's nice. But how? Yeah. Two drinks. So we need warmer clothes. I think that's going to be the same for trying to... So, where are we going to go? Um, we're here. Down there is where I need to make the car. At the ski thing. I might be able to push a little bit through. Okay, so let's get out of here. If Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Uh, yeah, I want to go right. We a little bit out of control. Let's head this way, over here, over here, we follow you round, so we go across the bridge. There it is, fantastic, we're spot on. I was going to say, that little hitch, that was the loading, that made a change, it's pretty quick. But no, that was actually a hitch just before I actually started loading the next area. I mean, I can see why they did it. They didn't want a loading screen to break immersion. But at the end of the day, the immersion's being broken with the way that it's working. See? That's the only gripe I have against this game. Okay, so we follow this up. Because we get to the crash. Yeah, we're getting there. There's the landslide. Right. Someone must have dropped this in a hurry, but whoever did was heading into the woods. Carl's tracking instincts were quickly kicking in. Let me grab you. New journal. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to call it here. And next time we'll see how far this way we can go before death. So yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time, have a good one.